so today we are going to be working on the 1967 Mustang finally I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for us to paint it but honestly guys we've been really backed up at the shop and extremely busy so we haven't had time to pull it out and it's been just sitting there collecting dust if you haven't seen the last episode you can go ahead and check it out we did get it all ready for paint and it looks absolutely awesome there's just a couple little things we need to take care of today that will be ready we are going to start trimming everything out we're going to paint this like we painted the s2000 we're going to trim out uh, the hood the doors and the trunk that way it can all lay flat and get nice and clear and look really good don's going to be painting it and so for now we do need to take this front end apart i want to pour 15 the inside of the fenders and also pour 15 the wheel wells and then once we get all that done we're gonna have to pour 15 the dashboard and the roof because we did run out in the last episode and we're gonna knock that out real quick then we can go ahead and start on paint prep and we will have painting in this video i know i promise you guys the next video will be paint work and we will start painting it guys so stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and get all this pour 15 knocked out today that way it'll dry and tomorrow we can go ahead and start clearing or not clearing painting everything and getting it ready then we'll go ahead and walk this entire exterior out that way we have a nice smooth uniform finish when we go to paint it we have the color picked out so you guys are gonna have to just wait further into this video to check it out and we did show it and a lot of people voted it it was actually voted more than the other color so that's the color we're gonna go with and it looks super awesome and I can't wait to see it lay down on this car so let's get right into this episode I'm gonna strip down this front end and get started on getting it all 415 Okay guys, so I got both wheel wells prepped, nice and sanded, but one thing I do have to do is go ahead and get all this out. This is the old seam sealer or undercoat or whatever. I really don't know what it is, but I wanna do this right. And as you can see, I took every bolt off that way. In the future, obviously we're gonna have to replace a lot of this and I don't want it to unscrew and ruin our job. So we took everything off and we saw some grommets and whatnot take off, but. We do need to get rid of all this right here and apply a new seam sealer. This whole car is just, all the seam sealer is gone. I'm assuming it was from sandblasting and we don't want no moisture getting through. So we need to definitely redo all of this considering this is the wheel wall and it's gonna constantly kick stuff up. So we're gonna clean all this up and then we're gonna get some seam sealer and seam up all these cracks and everything and get it ready for that 415. So I got it all cleaned out. I did wire wheel it as best as I could and it's honestly still a little rusty. So I think I'm gonna pour 15 everything first and then tomorrow when everything dries, we'll go ahead and put the seam sealer on and then we'll undercoat everything and it'll look super nice. So I'm done with this side. I'm gonna go clean out the other side over there and we're gonna get this all taped off. I'm gonna tape it right here and run the pour 15 behind where the fender goes and the rest will be base coat cleared. And then luckily we have a line here. So I'll tape that off and I'll pour 15 under the fender. And that way everything is nice and sealed. 
and there will be no exposed metal like this right here underneath here and it will look super nice so we're gonna go ahead and get all this ready and then we'll get the underside of the fenders ready and start painting it Alright guys, so I finally got it all painted and I was really dreading the roof and I was honestly hoping we'd run out of 415 before I got to it, but it actually turned out to be the easiest thing to paint out of all of this. I mean, I just had to dodge a couple of little droplets so they wouldn't get on my head, but as you guys can see, this time I was prepared and Don lent me his old paint suit and I wrapped up and no 415 except like a little couple of spots, which is much better than the last two times. I was scraping it off for like two weeks, but super happy with everything. It looks super nice and it went on really smoothly. And this was all prepped with 80, so I know it's gonna stick and adhere really good. So now this is all done. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna come in and I'm gonna prep all the parts. Don's gonna cut them in. Like I said, we do wanna paint it all on stands and get it nice and slick. So I'll see you guys tomorrow because it is getting late, so peace. Okay guys, so it is the next morning. This is all nice and dry. Next step, we want to align these fenders and get them in their correct spot. That way we can go ahead and trim out the hood and take the doors off and start trimming that out. We do need to go and buy all new bolts and also these things right here. As you can see, we are missing a couple and missing a couple bolts and we want it to all match and be uniform. And Larry actually brought his hood hinges and these things are super cool. Check this out. And they're gonna look really good in that engine bay. They're nice and aluminum and they have a shock and they're gonna look super good, especially when we paint everything. Cause usually engine bays are like a matte black, but this is all gonna be base coat clear. So let's go ahead and get those bolts. Okay guys, so we have to hit a couple of stores cause we couldn't find it, but we got everything we need. So we're gonna go back to the shop and start fitting up these panels.
All right, guys, check this out. We got the gaps dialed in. Me and Larry had to work it a little better. That way all these were even, but it looks really good now. Now I need to take the hood off, the doors off, and the trunk and go ahead and prep it. That way Don can cut it in. So let's go ahead and get it all off and sand it. Okay, so Don got the base laid down and we're about to do clear coat. But guys, I just wanted to show you my new gun. This is the SATA Jet X 5500RP. And I purchased this gun to paint the E30 and Sam Craig's Ferrari. Don's actually gonna use it on this and we're gonna test it out. I have actually used it already, but I wanna let him use it and see what he thinks of it. But I think it's a super cool gun. I love how it sprays. It sprays a lot better than my DV-1 clear gun. I still am going to use my DV-1 base gun, but I really need a clear gun. So we're going to go in there and we're going to see how this thing lays down on those parts. Take care of it, sir. Thank you.
All right, guys, just like that, everything is trimmed out. And now, just like on the S2000, we can turn this all around, and Don can put down a really nice paint job on top of everything, and it's gonna be super awesome. Turned out really good, and Monday, we're gonna go ahead and start the paint process. We'll probably paint the parts first, and then we'll go ahead and start prepping the car. Super exciting, guys. Finally, paint is going down on this car, and it may just look like black, but just wait till you see it in the sun. As you guys could see a little bit with the flash, this gold metallic looks super good and it's gonna look absolutely phenomenal in the sun. I do like black. It is very hard to get right, so we're gonna to have to take our time and prep the outside of the car and make sure it's absolutely perfect. That way Don can lay down a perfect flat paint job. The biggest thing when painting is really the prep work. And I mean, obviously the painter too, but the main thing is prep work and making Don's life easier. So. We're gonna take our time and make sure everything's right, but yeah. What do you think of the clear gun, Don? I like it, it's really nice. Is it better than yours? No. <laughs> a clear gun does not make a painter. A That's painter right. makes the gun. Always remember that. Hey, right, but this looks good. Yeah, it does, it turned out really nice. It does, I was really surprised. I'm sure Larry's I mean, gonna- We media blasted and sanded heavily and primed and then re-sanded. So this stuff has it, but the doors, yeah. you know, for them to be so rough to shape to start with and what they've turned out to be now is really good. Yeah, especially since before you even started sanding, they were so yeah. rough and that yeah, actually looks really, really rough. Yeah, and they smoothed out really nice. And a lot of the areas, the most important areas, they really flow yeah. really nice. Yeah, exactly where we need it slick. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we want it slick everywhere. I mean, which it is, but... I'm just, I'm also so happy Larry went with this color and not the blue. Yeah, it is a, a 67 Mustang, so you know. We gotta do something I mean, new. if we ain't putting brand new doors on it, like most, you know, a lot of people, you know, some people would cheat a little bit and put brand new doors on it, but. I was trying to get I Larry to cheat. I was trying to keep things factory and original. So yeah. I like that original stuff. Yo, I got an idea. Let's turn the booth lights off and let's get your little paint light you have. Uh, and okay. I wanna see this color. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. That's so good. Dude, look at the metallics. Imagine this dude. color in the sun. Oh, it's gonna bleed. It's gonna look black hey, from minus far. Our, minus our bug, our visitor to come to visit. He's stuck <laughs> on Chuck. <laughs> We're gonna let him sleep there overnight. Yeah, there we are. Think about his actions. Yeah. <laughs> Man, dude, that's gonna look so good. Let's go to the hood, cause the hood's like the biggest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is such a nice color. The blue, I don't know. I feel like the blue is just like, kind of like basic, you know? Yeah, it is. Versus this, this is like something you don't see every day. Yeah, but this is what you want on something you're gonna restore. You want something not everybody sees every day. I mean, a lot of, some people go back to original colors, which I've painted, I've done some registration that paint jobs for people that has went back original, but I mean, hey. Yeah, Don's I, actually done a lot of hot rod. Some, something that, you know, really stands out, I really like. Yeah, me too. I don't like original, dude. I have a Honda engine and a BMW. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you sorry, dude? That's actually, it's- It's, it's different. It's definitely different. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Monday, Don is gonna slick all this in. He's gonna use my gun so he doesn't get a bad job. <laughs> all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned in the next episode. This thing is gonna be slicked in and I can't wait to see it. It's gonna look awesome. And most of all, I can't wait to see it out in the sun. I think it's just gonna look super good, especially since that color has that really cool gold metallic. But yeah, we pretty much got everything done that we need to before paint. Eventually, I will sand down the wheel wall and I'll do undercoating and it's gonna look super nice. I don't wanna leave just for 415. The undercoating is rubberized, so when rocks hit it and stuff, it'll bounce off versus chipping it. So we're definitely gonna do all that. We wanna do this right and we've been doing everything right. We've all put in a lot of work on this car to get to this stage. And if you guys wanna keep seeing it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And you can see up to date updates on Instagram. It's motorhead.co, I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching guys, peace.